financial education video, how to raise capital, the number one skill of an entrepreneur. If I have a sense that everything you know, I also know, where would your status come from? Let's get some tools to do this. Number, at, at, the, at the lowest level of building local status, the status tip off, the sense that you really can make a difference to the person that you're emailing or talking to. The lowest form of, and you need this, but at the bottom of the pyramid is, do you have solid credentials? And the challenge is not to tell somebody about our credentials, but show them our credentials. The next piece of it is, have you got some insights that are non-obvious and valuable? Do you have the kind of insight that experts would have? And this is where, you know, I, I started going, Chris, naturally in the Bitcoin example, which is a good one, right? Because that, that one lends itself very easily. You know, you don't have to do much work inside of Bitcoin to really have some insight on what's going to be happening next. If I have a sense that everything you know, I also know, where would your status come from? Where, what would I be getting from you? Why would I jump from a cold introduction into a relationship with you if I also feel like the, the things you know, I also know? Say it again. Jargon, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we're, those are some of the tools that is how you show, for sure. Uh, if you don't know, have the insider language, and this is where, you know, how CEOs or technical people inside that business talk to each other about the things that matter, you know, if you don't have the jargon at your disposal and you don't have command of it, then you can't show people that you're an insider. And every, does anybody, does anybody here feel like their industry doesn't have jargon? Okay, <laughs> right. So it's interesting, everybody says, hey, take all the jargon out of your presentation and make it simple. But, and, and, and in many cases that's true, but there, then, then you've wiped out the signal that you're an insider. How do I know that you're an insider? And then this is the big one. Are, are you appropriate? Like, does it make sense for us to be talking to each other? Are you at my level? You know, if, if, you're, if you're a salesperson and the person you're calling, if, you know, if you're a 24-year-old salesperson and you are uh, calling on 50-year-old, you know, investment managers, that those levels are not set correctly. You can see that.